A group of women living within the Naibunga Conservancy have come up with measures to eradicate the spread of the invasive Opuntia plant, which has rendered the land barren, killing their livestock. The plant, which is a succulent, or which is succulent, was introduced in Laikipia County as an ornamental plant by the colonialists, but continues to wreak havoc, more havoc that is, than beautify the region. In 2015, a group of scientists from the United Kingdom introduced a bug known as cochineal, which is specific to Opuntia as a means to eradicate the plant in the region. Helen Aura with more. The last two years have been difficult for wildlife. With a prolonged drought leaving the ground bare, forage has become hard to come by. It is survival for the fittest. Under the scorching sun, this gentle giant seek pasture. The mother looking to have her young ones fed, but the plants they consume are causing conservationists worry. In Laikipia County, the prickly pear plant, also known as Opuntia, cannot go unnoticed. The invasive plant has covered roughly three quarters of the land and is known to prevent the growth of grass as well as other plants. This leaves livestock and wildlife with no choice but to eat it, putting their lives in danger. Many animals have been left bruised, but despite the discomfort, the animals have no other option but to keep on feeding to stay alive. The Opuntia plant, endemic to northeastern region of Kenya, was first introduced in the colonial times and was grown as an ornamental plant. Its thorns were seen as protection against wild animals when used in fencing. But with time, the plant has become invasive, spreading mostly through the digestive tracts of the animals that eat it. <laughs> Sixty-seven-year-old George Olesinteroy has lost a large part of his heart to the Opuntia plant, and the pain and concerns for the future can clearly be seen in his eyes. And the ones left are hanging by a thread as the drought ravages. But there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel as this group of women under the training of the Northern Rangeland Trust are on the forefront of working to eradicate the plant. It needs very limited water to grow and that's why it's able to grow very fast whenever any part of the seed or also the stem just falls. Um, so there are very many agents of seed dispersal and so... Um, Currently, we have elephants as our biggest um, dispersers. An elephant is able to feed on 2,000 seeds per day, and it can be able to travel even a distance of more than two kilometers before now they defecate the, the dung. This makeshift greenhouse is where they breed a special virus, a bug known as cochineal, introduced in 2015 by a group of scientists. The virus forms a white velvety carpet which invades the plant, sucking the life out of it. Take it to the field, to the, to the stems that are not infected. You don't cut, you just place it on the other one. Then the cochineal is able to spread and now colonize the fresh stem. Cochineal is specific to Opuntia, meaning that um, in the event where uh, Opuntia is totally eradicated, um, the cochineal does not jump in, into any other plant. The women are able to earn a small token from their work. One of the great challenges that they face is the long distance that they have to travel to reach each and every plant. Mm -hmm. 
Because of the cladods and the thorns around it, it's safe to have the gloves and everything. But at the moment, we don't have funding to actually provide that. So that's one of the challenge because they don't have anything to protect themselves. And also because um, it will be good if they have uh, glasses to also protect their eyes because the small clochids actually, they're very light and can be taken away by the wind. With the effects easily detected on domestic animals, scientific research is yet to determine the long-term effects of the plants in wildlife. The rampant spread of the Opuntia plant continues to choke life within the Naibunga Conservancy. Despite scientific efforts in place to curb the growth of this plant, the women hope that industrial methods will be put in place away from the manual labor, which is not only hazardous to them, but to beat the race against time. Helen Aura. And TV.